here's the situation. You've recorded the track in Logic Pro for iPad, but it's a lot lower than your other tracks. So what can you do? Do you need to re-record it? No. Guess what? We've got a brand new feature called Normalize Region Gain here in Logic Pro for iPad 2.2. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's go. So what is normalization? Well, exactly what it sounds like. If we tap on this particular region, tap again and go normalize region gain, if we leave all the defaults the same and hit apply, you can see there that it immediately increases the overall gain or volume of this particular region. So if we've got this base track recorded, what we can do is tap outside here, select all of these regions, tap on one, tap again, go to normalize region gain, leave everything the same, hit apply, and immediately it's going to boost the volume of that track. But as you'll see here, it hasn't done it in an even way because this section is still much louder than the other sections. If only there was a way to fix that. There is, let's show you that now. Let's once again, select all of these regions by tapping outside, dragging across, tapping on one, tapping again, and going to normalize region gain. Now you can see we've got a bunch of settings here, including process. So at the moment, it's processing them all equally, which means it'll pull them all up until the loudest one hits minus one, which is the peak decibel level that we've got set. However, if we select the regions individually, it's going to apply this to each individual region. Let's hit apply and you'll see what the difference is. Check that out. It has grabbed each individual track, each individual region, and increased the volume up to minus one dB. This will give you a much more consistent performance. Beware though, it will remove some of that dynamic range that you might have in your performance. So you don't always want to do that, but the option's there if you need it. And you can even do this across multiple tracks. Let's select regions across these three guitar tracks, tap, tap again, and tap on normalize region gain. Now we can actually select per track equally and now hit apply and check this out it'll process each track individually but make sure that we've got those consistent gain increases so the three different modes for peak normalization can be used in different ways here in logic and you may have noticed that there's another option here under normalize which is instead of normalizing to the peak volume you can normalize using loudness which uses luffs or loudness units full scale if that means nothing to you don't worry about it too much you can go and search it out in your own time. But if we hit apply on this one, you'll see that it doesn't increase it as much because instead of increasing the peak volume, it's analyzing the whole performance and only increasing it a little bit based on those loudness units. And the same as you could adjust the peak level here to minus one dB or whatever you would like, you can also adjust the luffs level, which I know a lot of people are going to luff. Love? So is this feature as cool as the merge feature in GarageBand for iOS? Not quite, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. If you'd like to learn a heap more about Logic Pro for iPad, including all of the new features in Logic Pro for iPad 2.2, check out my complete overview video. That's on the screen right now and down in the description. You'll also find down there a complete playlist of all of the cool new features in Logic Pro for iPad 2.2. Hey, I'll see you over there.